Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Today is the second day of November. Oh my God. That's so hard to believe. Guess what? We have November too. Like we had last month. Grab and go kit. These are nice. so much fun. They are. We're definitely going to want one. So how do you get a kit? You might wonder. You can go to either library locations and say, hey, I need a kid's grab the going kit. Or if you do curbside pickup, when you give us a call, let us know how many kids you have and how many grab and go bags you want. Sounds pretty easy, right? It is pretty yeah. easy and it's full of such fun things. It what is. are we doing today? Well, of course, since it's Maker Mornings with Nicole and Alicia, we're gonna make something awesome this morning. We're gonna do zip lines. Zip lines are so awesome. Have you ever been on a zip line? Oh, I yeah. have. They're so much they fun. They are and fun. Also so scary. At first. They can be, yes. Which is why we're gonna make our own that you can do at home, or like today, we're gonna do it at the library. So you're gonna unpack your zip line bag. It's the one labeled November 4th, Maker Mornings. And it will come with a cup a zipline line and this little bag right here so you're going to open it all up and then we've already got some made here if you want you can decorate them you can put your name on it color it all that good stuff you're going to take like a pin and you're going to have to put holes in the side so your string can go through there and you can make it anyway mine is going to have two of these pipe cleaners miss alicia made hers with one. So what? let's talk a little bit about zip lines. Okay. So they're pretty cool, but how do they work? That is a very good question. So what we know is that there's a few things you need for a zip line, right? You needed a cup yes, or a cup. some sort of vehicle. And if you're actually using a zip line, like if you're going on with yourself, that's your body. And then we need some sort of pulley, which on our little zip line is that little bobbin that's actually used um, for a sewing machine. But it is going to be our stand-in pulley for this. And that helps reduce friction as the cup or your body goes down the zip line. And then we're gonna experiment a little yeah. bit and see what happens if we put weight in the cup, does it go? or does it go slower if we um, change the angle of the of the zip line I wonder if it goes faster or slower does a short zip line go faster or slower and while we're thinking about all of these things we should be thinking about a very particular force and it's the force Ooh, that keeps us from floating around what is that is that gravity yes oh, you're right yes. gravity so, so gravity is gravity, pulling this down then, right? Yes, okay. gravity is going to be pulling the cup down the zip line, and that is gonna that is gonna make our experiment even more fun because we're gonna find out what happens when we do different things and when we use different weight inside of the cup and when we use different length of zip line, and we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. So there's no wrong way to do this. This is a STEM activity. So you can build your your little device, your little holder, any way you want. I think this comes with three pieces of pipe cleaners. You can use all three if you want. So however you want to do it, um, we're gonna we did it, we've already set up a zip line line. So we are gonna go over there and look at that and see what happens. And then we're gonna make predictions. Does that sound awesome? All right, so we've got our zip line set up, our track. What we're going to do is we are going to race them. Miss Alicia's down at the bottom there. So we've got mine. Let me set up Miss Alicia's. <laughs> it's hard to do with one. It is. I I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Let's think about that. All right. So let's make a prediction. One is going to have some super awesome characters in it, like a pirate, Woody and a cool horse Lego guy. So one is gonna have weight in it and one is not. So do you think 
which one is going to go faster? They're both at the same angle. Do you think the one with weight is going to go faster or the one without weight? I think we're about to find yes, out. Yes, we are. Okay. Pretty excited. Yes, this is definitely proving to be a challenge. Okay, so we're going to put the horseman in here, maybe. Who wants to go? All right, we're going to put Woody in there. All right, so we've got one with passengers and one without. Okay, so we count down. Let's count down. Let's Ready? Hope it goes well. Ready? Three, Three two, two, one, go! Whoa! Oh, Woody fell out. And this <laughs> one, I don't think I set up quite right. Let's see though, if I redo it, what what happens? Sorry, that's what happens when you that's all right. are lacking an extra bit of hands, I guess. All right, oh, so it goes, goes down, but not as fast. I'd say the one with weight in it definitely, definitely went, went faster. faster. Yeah. Okay, we are going to try this one, one more time off. with two sets of yes. hands so that we can see them actually race. Yes. So this is the weighted one with our three characters in it. And this is the light one with nothing, nothing in it. <laughs> All right, ready? One, two, three. Oh! oh. Yes. So <laughs> that definitely weight, went yes. faster. Yes. So still... The weighted one definitely goes down even more yeah. faster. Um, but again, do this on your own. Try it a bunch of ways. Try attaching the zip line different or the cup different ways. See what works the yeah. best. See what reduces the most friction. And we would love to see your zip lines. And we will see you next Wednesday at 11. Yes. Bye. Bye.